In this demonstration, we're going to show how to use the Crosshairs debugger together with a Texas Instruments motor control development kit. Now, the first thing we have to do is create a project. So I click the New Project button, and I give it a name, and click OK. On this screen, we configure the connection to the Crosshairs engine, as well as to the hardware. Uh, this particular connection is remote, so I check remote connection and I click the connect to engine button. Once the uh, connection has been established, we get a list of the available targets that we can connect to. In this particular case, we're going to use a Piccolo and we're going to use the 28035. And I'm just going to go ahead and configure the uh, connection parameters. Select the COM port. And finally, we select which out file to use. You do this by clicking on the Browse button and select the um, out file, click Open, and then Connect. And now we are placed in the Monitor module in the Crosshairs debugger. In the Monitor module, you have several views available. First, the Symbols view the watch and edit view, the graph, and the output view. In addition, you have the module navigator, which is on the left side of the screen. This will let you move from the dynamic module to, for example, the memory, alerts, and data logger modules. In addition to that, you also have access to the flash programming functionality by clicking the program button towards the bottom of the screen. The next thing we're going to do is add some variables to the watch view. To do this, you simply find the variable in the Symbols view, and you click and drag the variable over into the Watch and Edit view. You may also right-click on a variable and select Add to Watch view. In addition, if you want to graph the variables, you simply check the little checkbox next to the variable name, and you'll notice that the names will appear as part of the legend underneath the graph. Now to enable real-time updates, you can click the Start Update button, or you can click F8. Once you start updating, you'll notice that the variable values will start updating, and you'll also see the values being graphed of the two variables that we have checked for graphing in the watch view. Now we may also edit the values of these variables, and let me just change the speed reference to 0.25 for example. and you'll notice that the graph will respond accordingly.